Go and sit down. What is wrong with you? Exception of the family, please stand. Oh, God. A man that is born of a woman, days are full of trouble, and they had a short time to live. <coughs> Jesus said, I am the resurrection and I am the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, believe thou this. And I heard a voice saying, Right, blessed are the dead that die in Christ, for they rest from their labors and their works do follow them. Good morning. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all comfort. We are gathered here this morning to celebrate the life of Joyce Gordon who was passed from this life on Tuesday, March 16, 2021. The catastrophe of death cannot be altered, but it can be transformed by love. For this cause, I say to the family of Joyce who are present here today, may you be comforted because there are those here today as friends and other associates of Joyce who have come to share in your grief. We hope you will not be ashamed to cry openly if this do help. We'll be singing the hymn How great the art. It's on your program, and if you will kindly stand with me, the first song on the program, How Great the Art. <laughs> Let's go. 
part. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy power and thy glory is everlasting. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for this moment. As we come, Lord, to celebrate the life of your daughter. Father, hallelujah. We pray, God, that you will take full control yes, of the service. I pray, Father, we know that this is not the first death, Lord. And it brings sorrows, it brings pain, Lord, and it severs all ties. But we pray, Lord, that your grace will be sufficient to keep the Beris family. Bless the program, bless the item, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise God. You may be seated. God is great. Amen. He's great in life and he's great in death. It's he that giveth life, and he that taketh. So at all times, God is great. He's great the fact that you're here this morning, and you're breathing the breath of life. The Bible said our breath is in his hands. And so this morning, he is great. If you could understand your body this morning, and what is taking place in your body, the Bible said we were wonderfully and beautifully made. And so much is going on inside of us as the blood raced through those veins. It is just marvelous what God has done. Amen. And so you sitting here this morning, it's because God is great. It is he who have made you and not yourself. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. At this time, we're going to proceed as we have the scripture lesson taken from first thessalonians 4 reading from verse 13 to 18 and this will be read by carl brown the aid of joyce let's have carl to read for us which we have hope, hope. For if you have believed that Jesus died and rose on the, on the cross, even so then also which sleep in Jesus, God will bring you with him. For, the first, no, for this we say unto you, my word of the Lord, <coughs> that we wish, we, we wish you are alive and remain into the coming of the Lord shall not befriend them which are asleep. Verse 16. For the Lord himself shall descend, descend from heaven which a shout with the voice of the archangels and which the trump of, the God of God and the death of Christ shall rise. <coughs> Verse 17, though he which wish we are alive and remain shall sought together with, the, with them in see, the crowd of, and meet the Lord in the, this, this car, in the here, and he shall, wherever we be the Lord, therefore comfort another, one another with these words. Amen. 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 Thank you, Miss Brown, for reading for us this morning. You may be seated. 
that was the aide who took care of Joyce while she was alive. Joyce suffered much in the flesh while she was alive. But today she's free from all pain. You know, we cry when there's death because of the lost, you know, the separation. But there is, Joyce this morning is better than you and I. We are still here to, to face all that is going on around us in this world. We are here to go through all the troubles and trials, but Joyce is free from it. <coughs> so this morning, we rejoice and we celebrate her life together. One song says, so long, bye-bye. Goodbye to my pain and my sorrow. So long, bye-bye. Let's just do that for two times or so. See if we can get ourselves a little more cheerful in the worship this morning. You know, it's funny that the Bible said when one dies, we should laugh. Have you ever read that? But Jesus himself, he wept at Lazarus' grave, right? <laughs> because the human side of us do feels. But he's, the, the word said that because God knows that she's better than those of us who are here today. It's hard to understand that, but it is. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. So long, Baba. So long, Baba. Goodbye to my pain and my sorrow. So long, Baba. So long, Baba. Put your heads together. So long, Baba. world. Bye-bye to pain and sorrow. So long. Bye-bye. At this time, the floor is open. There are friends and close associates of Joyce who are here today. And if you'd like to just come and say a short word to for on behalf of Joyce, you are free to come.
There's no disappointment in heaven. No weariness, sorrow, or pain. No hearts that are bleeding and broken. No sob with a minor refrain. The clouds of our earthly horizon will never appear in the skies. For all will be sunshine and gladness, Lord, with never a sun or a sigh. Lord, I'm bound for the beautiful city. My Lord, I'm prepared for Jesus. Where all the redeemed of all ages sing glory around the white road. Lord, sometimes I go and sing for heaven. My Lord, and the joys that I there shall be whole. What a joy it will be when my Savior I see.
Again, um, we are reminded, hallelujah, that there's a better place. Amen? Amen. 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 There's a life after death. Yes. And for those who are those who are saved, those who are ready for his coming, amen, you will be living eternally with him. Amen? amen. Bless the Lord. Thank you very much. Amen. You said you couldn't sing, but that's a beautiful, beautiful. Amen. Give her another chair. Amen. Sound like a choir member. Amen. Praise the Lord. At this time, her son, forgetting your name. Anthony. Anthony. Anthony is coming to speak on behalf of his mother. <clears throat> My mother, Joyce Gloria Gordon, was a very complicated woman, but she was a very loving woman and a very caring woman. We may have not been together every day over the last 53 years, but I always knew she was at the other end of her phone. And anything I needed, she would be there. Amen. She would have given her head for me if that was possible. Anything I needed, anything I wanted, she was always there. And she was always there in the background for my father and my dad. And we both love her very much. And coming here to New York, seeing her friend, her family, friends, all the loved ones, all the people who've been in her life of the last um, 40 odd years since she's been in the US, I can see she's done a great deal of good and sure. blessing from everybody. And I'm very proud of my mother. And thank you everybody here for turning up and God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Anthony, for finding the courage to stand and to speak yes, yes. on behalf of your, your mother. Please give yes. him another hand. Yes. That was great. I know it's not easy, but God has given you strength because this, we are praying. We have been praying. By the way, I have, I've forgotten to just welcome everyone that is in our midst today. We have the families and friends. We have members of the church of sister or sister. Beryl, let me have to ask the members of the church to stand. We are Sister Beryl, Sister Joy, Sister Worship. Here we go. So we have so many, um, with including one of our deacons, Sister Daisy, who drove all the way from Pennsylvania to be here. Sister Turner, Sister Morris, God bless you. And it's so nice. And her friends, let me have the friends and close associate to stand. Wow, look at that. Wow. Indeed, she was a blessing to many. God bless you as you come to share in the celebration of her life. Oh, here it comes. Her sister is coming. All right. sister in the United States. I want to sing a verse of a song. I went to the house where my sister used to live. The grass had grown up and covered the door. Someone across the street said, I know who you see, but she, she doesn't live here anymore. She is somewhere around the throne of God. She is somewhere around the throne of God. I kept searching and 
searching, but still could not find her. church where she used to go. The preacher, he was still there and he met me by the door. He said, I know who you are and I know who you're looking for. But she, she doesn't come here anymore. the strength to do anything here but prayer is really working amen praise god hallelujah anyone else in the interest of time i'm going to ask you to just try to be as short as you can come on and please speak in the microphone as we are being recorded Bless the name of the Lord. First, I give thanks to everyone this moment in God's present. Sister Joyce was a friend indeed and a mother indeed. I always turn to me and say, Mr. Miller, it's God saying you come where me is. And I'm hoping so rest in the arms of God. <coughs> and God, his son, and his sister and family all get together and have the thought of God and say it's good for us today to celebrate the goodness of Sister Joyce this moment. Amen. And Sister Joyce, good in thee and in good in love and Amen. faith. And hoping so rest in the peace of God and the arms of God. Amen. And we keep courage in Jesus' name. Amen. When we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. Friend, 
of my uncle. I met Miss Joyce through my uncle Austin Young. They were all living in Birmingham, England. I remember when I went to Jamaica, 2013, and Uncle Austin was telling me about Miss Joyce, and he gave me her number. <laughs> Jesus. And I spoke with her in Jamaica. From the moment I met this lady, this lady was one of the best person <coughs> I ever met. Remember when I used to go to her house? She said, Rosemary, what do you want me to fix for you? I said, Miss Joyce, I'm fine. I'm fine. And me and she would sit on the porch and we talk and we talk. Sometimes I get home from work. She called, Jesus. She called me on the phone and she said, Rosemary, girl, you don't know how long it to see you from when I don't see you. And I said, Aunt Joyce, you soon see me. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Remember one week before she went to the hospital, she called me and she said, I'm trying to get Austin. Where is Austin? That time Austin was sick. So right now, she died the 16th of March. And my uncle Austin died the 1st of April. Uncle Austin, oh Jesus, funeral, going to be the 4th of May. And her own going to be the 5th. And I know I will be there with Miss Joyce to the last end when she going down. Oh God. Thank you, Jesus. I just want to sing this song to bury to bury Anthony. Thank you, Jesus. Your grace, your grace and mercy has but you choose. Thank you, Jesus. I want to thank you and praise you too. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you Jesus. I'm living this moment because of you and I just want to thank you Jesus thank you for your love your mercy and your grace I thank you Lord for every moment every day of my life I thank Jesus and love him and I will continue serving him for the rest of my life and I just want to give him thanks Beryl, don't worry. Tony, don't worry. Because where Miss Child's gone is a better place. And one day, we will meet her again. One day, we will see her in heaven. One day, we will see her beautiful place. Because this is not the end for her. This is not the end. She just sleeping and sleeping and one day we will meet her again. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Very don't worry. I know you love me, Joyce. But keep sweet. And I love you. I love you very to the uttermost of my heart. Keep sweet. Keep sweet and keep praising Jesus. Because he loves you. He loves you. Keep sweet. Keep sweet. And Miss Joyce, keep sleeping. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Sleep. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Um, time is speeding away from us. There's another funeral going to be here at one. I'm going to be <laughs> see. All right, come, but one minute. All right, one minute, please.
God bless you all. <clears throat> um, I'm a tenant to Miss Joyce. Five years ago, Masaline and I came to Miss Joyce through a man called Horace. And that day, a wonderful thing happened. She told us that she take us as family. And she maintained it till this day that she did. The most. Mm, I'm gonna give testimony of what has happened in that place. God has blessed us in that house immensely. When I say immeasurably, I, we came there in the basement. From the basement, God lifted us to the second, the first floor where I am now. That is the two bedroom. Apart from that, so many things that I cannot count happen to me in that house. That is blessings of God. It's uncountable. If I stand here to count it, you'll be marveled. It's a blessing to me, that house, 3335 Pauline, has been a blessing to us. And I pray that it continues to be a blessing to us. And may Joyce, the mice, the God, May God reward you for your goodness and kindness to us. Amen. God accept her soul. And may God forgive her wherever she offend God. And we forgive each other. Because we have no time left in this world to be fighting. The time you were born and the time you die, there's a dash in between. Live a good life. Yes. Love your neighbor. Yes. Love your God. Yes. It's short. Yes. All this struggle fighting make no sense. Amen. When the sun came, the very first day we met, we connected. His blessings. The sister, princess, I mean, it's been joy and joy, blessing upon blessing upon blessing. Thank you so much. Please take heart. That's why. We are in the same club. I lost my two parents, but I don't know I could exist when my mother died. Because mother is the powerhouse power of every house. Please take heart. She's in a better place. It says, No friend, there's no friend like Jesus. So, no, not one, no, not one. There's no friend like Jesus. And in every hour, he's there with us. Any time, he's always with us. Believe in him, and we'll be okay. Thank you, and God bless. Amen. Thank you very much. It's really it's wonderful to hear this gentleman speak. We are in a time and age where it's hard to find good tenants. Those of you who rent, very hard. And I'm good landlord. But look at this. When your tenant can come and talk so well about you, it tells us that she was truly a good woman. Amen? Praise the Lord. And I want to encourage Anthony and Beryl, make sure you treat this tenant just as Joyce treated him because Joyce will not be happy because if he, she did that she expects you to do the same Amen. don't put them out Amen. <laughs> Amen. because if they are there so long and he can come and speak so well of her it means he's a good tenant Amen. and more so he's a born again I can hear it from his speech God bless you sir and as he said let us live in love Stop the fighting. It doesn't make sense. Amen. 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 I see you trying to get up, Le. my lady over there. <laughs> we, um, if you will be obedient, if you don't, if you go over a minute, I'm going to stop you because we have. Oh, 
out. <laughs> we have to be out here by one. So if you go over, I'm going to stop you. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I am a cousin of Daryl and Miss Joyce. Um, I have an episode with Miss Joyce one day we go to the pharmacy. She was trying to open a box. The box will not open. Miss Joyce keep tearing up the box. I said, Miss Joyce, you can't tear it up like that. You won't get it to buy it. She said, I'm not buying that. You have to give me a new one. <laughs> so, 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 you know, she's like, but very now, um, she's a uh, worry what where Miss Joyce is concerned. If, uh, if Miss Joyce feels sick, she cry. If the ambulance comes, she cry. She's in the hospital. She's not going to see her again, Mr. Beryl. You will see Miss Joyce again. So right now, I don't know what is going to happen. But she have to keep seeing. She will have to keep seeing. Miss Joyce is her everything. She wants to see Miss Joyce. You know, everything is Miss Joyce. My brain is concerned. She loves her sister dearly. If Miss Joyce called, I wonder what she called for. You know, you know, she just worry, worry, worry over Miss Joyce. So there is, um, on behalf of myself and my aunt over there, you know, we are here for you. You know? You're, we are here for you, so don't worry, Miss Joyce is gone, but we are still here. You may finish. <laughs> Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I have to say. Amen. Amen. There's not a friend like the Lord Jesus. was just waiting till 12 o'clock to drink our champagne and she would be telling me all kind of sweet romantic story <laughs> and encouraging me you know that I will always cherish may her soul rest in peace and have a spot in heaven empty. So at this time we have with us Bishop Felix Whittingham, the pastor of the Calvary United Worship Center where Sister Beryl worship. And he's coming at this time. Will you stand and receive him with me as he come and share the word with us. You may be seated, everyone. When death has come and taken our loved one, it leaves our home so lonely and drear. 
Why do we wander? While others prosper, never molested, doing the wrong. But Father alone will know all about it. Somebody say, Amen. Amen. Others funeral is church for me. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory. And I'm ready to preach to the living. Hallelujah. Let me also greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ. And we from the Calvary United Worship Center, which the burial is apart, we extend to you our condolences. Hallelujah. Amen. Be strong and take courage. However, let me leave other preacher, not a politician. Politician seeks to give their argument, but a preacher seek to preach to the living, Amen. especially the unsaved. And the Bible says in Hebrew 9 27 it is appointed unto man once to die. But after this, after death comes the judgment. And if I should use a theme it would be man's appointment because it's the point that to man wants to die man wants to die so i'm looking at man's appointment somebody in the crowd may say what is appointment appointment is a time and date set to meet with someone you may have appointment with the doctor with the lawyer the principal and so on and so forth and those appointment can be disappointed because you can go to see the lawyer and yes and you understand that is in Manhattan doing a case now your appointment is disappointed but one thing I want to share with the congregation that man's appointment is dead. And there's no disappointment in this appointment. Amen. The question may ask, why? Oh, the reason is this. Adam had sin. Whatever the sins may be, I understand that if the sin of disobedient, because I disobey what God says. And God said to him, the day you eat of that particular fruit in the midst of the garden, you shall surely die. And so Adam died. You have three types of death. But in this context, he died physically. Sorry, he did not die physically, but he died spiritually. Because he was still alive. Although he's dead, he's still alive. <coughs> Hallelujah. The Bible says that because of one man's sin, death passed upon all. And all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And then we understand according, <coughs> amen, to the word of God. Romans 6.23 it says uh, the wages of sin is death. But, hallelujah, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life to our Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> and this evening, brethren and friends, death is a must. Whether you are a preacher or you are a teacher, death is a must. Amen. Hallelujah, whether you are rich or you are poor, death is a must. Whether you are Barled or Rasta or Solman, death is a must. Amen. Whether you live on top floor in the attic or you live in basement, amen. amen. Death is a must. It is right across the board. Whether you're black, white, blue, or yellow, amen. amen. It is appointed unto man once to die. But after death, then come the judgment. Amen. But thank God. In spite 
of sin upon the universe because of Adam had sin we inherit the death and the sins of Adam but thanks be unto God that he loves us and sent Jesus Christ John 3 16 says for God so loved the world that he gave us his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life Amen. Amen. if you are a sinner some people don't like you saying that they are sinners but if you are not born again and be converted then you are dead you are living dead that's why Jesus said to the man let the dead bury their dead so he was saying the living dead bury the physical dead and we need to understand that Jesus Christ loves us and all we have to do is repent the Bible says in Luke 13 3 Amen except he repent he shall all likewise perish the word is this morning is death or perish or perish or repent repent or perish which one you prefer today if you are not saved think about that let me give you a story here and then close I was told of a story wherein Mr. Death visit a man because his time has come so Death would visit him and take him but when Mr. Death went there the man was so good to him he was so generous and the hospitality was nice and he said he took care of Mr. Death Mr. Dead said, hi, could you lend me your restroom? He said, yes, sir, go ahead. And when he went, Dead went into the restroom. The story goes on like this. That the man take a peep on the paper to see all the names of those who are going to die. That he come for. And when he looked, he saw his name at the top. And so he took and erased and erased it and put it at the, at the bottom of the paper and the story goes on that when they came from the restroom he said man you are so kind and generous to me I come to take you first but guess what I'm going to start from the bottom <laughs> when is your time come your time come because every man has an appointed time of death. But every man knows that he's going to die. But he does not know when. Yes. Hallelujah. And so death is a must. And after death comes the judgment. Amen. Are you ready for the judgment? Are you ready for God's judgment in the state that you are? You can escape the judgment by repent this morning. Which is God is sorrow for sin. Hallelujah. You're sorry for your sin. And you beg God pardon. And then he erase your sins. As far as from the east to the west. And then according to Romans 5.1. You are now justified by faith. To Jesus Christ our Lord. As I close. Right now. You may be here today. And you are not saved. You know what it is to be born again. But maybe you have not. Because when we were going to churches, we have heard about the coming of Jesus and being born again. Yes, the kingdom of God is at hand. Signs of the times are everywhere. Can you see it? Are you blind? Are your minds open that the kingdom of God is at hand? And Matthew 24 and Luke 13 is fulfilling? Tsunami, pestilent, like COVID, and many others. The kingdom of God is at hand. The lesson says, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven 
with a shout, and that shout shall raise all the dead. Hallelujah. And the dead in Christ shall rise. What I like about the text by the Apostle Paul, he says, and those of us who are alive will not prevent those who are in the grave. But they shall rise from the grave. And then this, all the saints shall caught up to meet the Lord in the air. I heard a sister our congregation was speaking on the promise of God. And one of the things she said, resurrection is for everybody. Resurrection is for everybody. Whether your thief, murderer, a good man, a saint. For everybody. And to continue and prove the scripture that not everybody going to the same place. Because the same shall cut up to meet the Lord in the here. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Brethren, there is hope. There is hope. Hallelujah. Only repent and turn your heart to Jesus. And you have a mansion in heaven. Hallelujah. Could you bow your heads? Is anyone here in the congregation of like a special prayer? Just stand up. I'm not calling to the, any altar right now. But just stand up. You know you are not saved. And if the Lord should come right now, you know your soul gone to the devil's hell. Because you know in yourself that you have not repented of your sin. But you get a chance today. Amen. I think I see one person standing. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah. Somebody give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah. I'm going to ask Sister Whittingham, the moderator, Reverend Whittingham, to come and pray for that person. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Before I praise there, one more. The song said there is no repentance in the grave. Bless the Lord. It's, are you standing for salvation, sir? Praise God. Hallelujah. You know, we have gone to funerals and funerals and funerals and it seems that after we leave, we just take it lightly. But it is appointed unto man once to die, and after death comes the judgment. There's no repentance in the grave, and none of us, none of us sitting here today, knows when we are going to die. Every appointment that we are going to, we know the time, we know the date. But this appointment with death, none of us knows. None of us. And if you are here today, you don't know Jesus Christ as your Savior. Here's a privilege. Just stand where you are if you don't know Jesus as Savior. Because no man cometh unto the Father but by Jesus Christ. You must repent of your sins and receive Christ. Father, we thank you for those who are standing this hour. Oh God Almighty, we thank you that they recognize that they have an appointment with death. They recognize that their souls are not ready for you. And as they stand in obedience, as they stand, and as they listen to your word, O oh God, they understand that there's a penalty for sin. And O oh God Almighty, they understand, Father, that they cannot come to you unless they repent of their sins and receive Jesus Christ the Savior. As they stand this hour, we pray, Holy Ghost, that you will touch their hearts. I pray, Father, that you will help them, God Almighty, that they will confess their sins to you, that they will, oh God, commit their lives to you this day, knowing, God, we don't know the next move. None of us knows the next hour, the next minute, what may happen. Oh, hallelujah. Your word said, oh God, is appointed unto man once to die. We don't know the time, we don't know how, but we do know, God, that this appointment is oh god hallelujah for each of us i pray for these two souls and i ask your god that you will touch them and i pray as they leave from this place that they will go from here believing in jesus christ as savior we thank you for this day thank and we you, thank you for what has already been said and done in jesus name amen, amen. amen. please be seated Praise God. We are coming to the close. But at this time, we want to pray for the Berees family that are here. I'm going to ask you to come forward, if you can, the Berees family. I'm going to invite Deacon Stewart to come.
going to be praying for the Dewey's family. We have with us this morning his son, her son, Anthony. Yeah. Anthony. An Irish proverb said, Anthony, a man loves his sweetheart the most. His wife the best, but his mother the longest. I know you love your mom, and we shared your grief today. But may the Lord strengthen you and continue to strengthen you. Sister Burial, there's a proverb that says, A sister is a gift to the heart. A friend to the spirit and a golden thread to the meaning of life. And I know that's what your sister was to you. We observe you as you go beyond and above to take care of your sister. Yes, we saw that. She was there all the time. All the time. And we know you missed her. But life goes on. Amen. Life do goes on. For the rest of the relatives, we know that you missed her too. But God give you strength as you continue this life's journey. Deacon Stewart will come and he will pray for you. That the Lord will strengthen you and those of you who are going to Jamaica will take you safely and that all will be well. Come Deacon as we pray for this family. Could I ask the congregation to stand with us in support of strength? Thank you. Praise God. Please bow your head everywhere. Praise God. Eternal God, our most holy Father whom we adore, we worship you. We thank you for today, oh God. We thank you for this procession. Father, we thank you for your people who has gathered here before you. Lord, as we come before you, we are not praying for the dead. She's already gone. And as the word is said, there's no repentance in the grave and no pardon of unto the dead. But for these that are standing before us at this moment, God, we present them before you. Father, we know you as a comforter. We know you as a friend, as a deliverer. So at this moment, as your people stand before you, they have lost their mother. They have lost their sister. They have lost their friend, cousin, relative, whoever she is to them. It's not really easy in a time like this. It's hard to cope. It's hard to get used to this. But Almighty God, as I present them before you, I ask that they will comfort their heart. Comfort their mind, Almighty God. Father, tomorrow morning when they wake, she's not there. The other day, she's not there. And she's not there. And she's not there. And they become worried. But I pray God that it won't be long. That they will come to realize that this is the work of God. And that God has done his part. Father, we ask you for those that were not saved. As the prayer has already gone for it for them. Help them to take this moment serious, O oh God. Knowing that if we don't repent, we shall all likewise perish. Father, we present them before in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray that we'll cover them with your mercy. Yes. Cover them, God. Comfort your hearts. Again, we pray and we say thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise, God. Praise, God. Praise, God. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Deacon Stewart. We're going to sing the final song on the program. Great is thy faithfulness as we get ready to this.
We serve a faithful God. Please be seated as I hand over to the funeral director. Just hold on a second, please. Let the funeral director will come. Director will come and direct us further. Please just be seated for a moment. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. As we continue to celebrate the life and the labor of the late Joyce Gordon, in this space at this time, we've come to the conclusion of our service for today. I want to take a moment and thank Bishop Whittingham for his words of encouragement on this day, as well as Reverend Whittingham, First Lady, thank you for leading us this day. Our Minister of Music is Reverend Kevin Wade. Kevin Wade, thank you for leading us on this day. To everyone who's in attendance, whether here or abroad, thank you for joining us in celebrating the life of Miss Gordon. To everyone who participating in today's programming, thank you for your courage, thank you for your love and your commitment. To the immediate family, on behalf of McCall's Brownsville Funeral Home, we once again extend our sympathy of condolence to you. It's been an honor to serve you. Thank you for entrusting us in the final arrangements of your loved one. Thank you. The, the final rites of interment for Miss Gordon will be back home in Jamaica at Westmoreland. Uh, Westmoreland should be flown back home. The service will take place on May 5th. She will be interred at a family plot on May 5th. At this time, the family will give everyone an opportunity for those of you who may not be traveling with the family to say goodbye to Miss jo uh, Gordon's earthly body. We ask that you remain seated to be escorted, to, escorted by myself. Just a couple of things to keep in mind. Once you've paid your respects, you can either return back to your seating, or if you decide to leave the chapel, we ask that we keep the hallways clear. Do not congregate in the hallways. You can exit the building if you choose, but you can certainly stay in the chapel and fellowship with the family for a few moments. Once again, thank you for coming out. May God continue to bless you and cover you. May grace and peace be yours in the name of our Lord. Amen. Amen. Wonderful. Wonderful. Come here. 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 Come here.